hello everyone in this video i'm gonna explain all you need to have a realistic landscape render as you can see this is the real site and this is my model first of all you have to speed up your model by unmark all of these and on the left corner you will find this logo middle info and go to statics and statistics and pure purge unused and fix problems here quickly i'm gonna to check on all the materials used and show you what exactly the numbers you have to make to show a realistic material for example this reflection for this wall paint and this amount of pump you will find it in wall paint and wallpaper category this one and change the color also this pump for the ground material this material you're gonna found it in ground category I always recommend to use groups for all components to change it in one click I always also recommend to use the right direction for all the materials used in your model to have a realistic view like this chair I am gonna change it to have a nice material This is also why I recommend to use groups. For landscape, I recommend to use Lerberg. why also I recommend to use groups in your model so you can change it in one click here I use this and here I use that all trees I used in this model I use it in this one to download it just google lauper then go to the home page store the first one the free one and add to cart then check out then fill your personal information and purchase here I'm gonna show you how to make a four. Make a four. You need a simple rectangle and fill it with any color from both sides and use a texture. The ground texture you will find it in V-Ray materials. Go to ground and use, for example, grass A. I have to scale it with real skill and you need to make a map for the bump make the same name 
grass A also then to add 4 you need to make it as a group then you add simply 4 here in my model I group all the 4 I need and add it with this count with this length and with this the maximum knots you can also make different two different 4 for example here also I use another 4 because I need it with another length Zoom light Mark edge so you can see it and you can rotate it with the direction you want Sunlight and work on doom light with HDMI Spotlights, it's called IES. You can find it here and you click on it and choose the IES you want to show. For example, I use 13. Then you simply edit and make mark edge so you can see it and edit it. Mark intensity, make it 5000 and make the right color. And for the shape from IES file, I make a copy and rotate it to make it in the booth side. Please follow my lead. Elements use this and I will explain how to use it on Photoshop in another video to make a realistic final images. Use scene for your model so you can simply make a scene from animation and add scene and then you need to go batch render then all the scene will render automatically without any effort i will upload this model for free you will find the link in the description to make your render on your own have a nice render